Here is how you use the calculator on iPhone. But first, hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It really helps me out. Thank you. So if I type something in, in the newer software, we now have the minus to remove the previous digit. On the old software, you'd have to swipe to the left or the right in order to remove a number. When I enter something in, so I'll do an equation, we only have the AC. This will completely clear all equations. On the older software, you would tap the clear button and that would remove the previous equation. So if we want to clear the previous equation in the newer software, we tap the three lines at the top left and then we can tap on edit. We can select the previous equation and then we can tap on delete, delete, and then we can continue from the previous equation we did. This is useful if you accidentally enter in the wrong numbers. You can also swipe up to view your entire calculation history. So I'll exit out of this menu and with the newer software, we can tap the calculator icon and we can go from basic to scientific calculator like this. Now on the older software, you had to make your iPhone in landscape mode to get the scientific calculator. If we tap the calculator icon again, we also have the new maths notes option. So when we select this and we tap on continue, we can then create a new math note. We can then tap the markup button and we can use our finger to create an equation and then the calculator will solve it. So I'll draw eight plus eight and then it will show you what that equals. So hopefully it will. So I'll put an equals after the equation and now it's filling in. And you can go in and then change this equation. So I'll make it eight squared. And then you can see it's going to dynamically update. And you know, you can even put brackets in if you want to, and it will update the equation, you know, and you can do like that. And it's really, really awesome. And then we can tap on done and we'll go back. And you can always see the history of your handwritten notes like this. You can always tap the calculator and then go back into basic. Finally, if we tap the calculator icon, we now have the currency converter. So tap this to turn on the conversion and then you can just type in, you know, what number in GBP and it'll give you the euros and you can tap this to change the currency. It's not just currency either, you know, it could be any measurement that you see right here. Uh, so hopefully this video helps.